Virgo. What is the word, Joe? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Rise Tarot. And I am back at it again to let you guys know the energy surrounding you for the month of August 2020. Show me the money season. Yes, God. Okay. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys that has clicked this video. Thank you so, so much for all of the love and support. If there is anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with me only thing you need to do is send me a message on instagram and you can do that by clicking the about tab on my youtube page all right and um sending me an instant message on um instagram so we can get you booked and scheduled the pricing list is on my youtube page about tab um and then if you don't have Instagram and you would like to book a reading, we typically do readings on Google Hangouts, which is a free app. And the only thing we need to do is exchange our emails in order to do the video chat reading. So what you would need to do is email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. I'll send you the link to Google Hangouts so we'll get you all set up. After the payments received, we're going to get you in and out, all right? So listen. Uh, if there's anyone that would like to send any uh, support, if these videos help you at any point in time, they resonate and you want to send some love, um, you guys have been doing a lot of donations through the Amazon wish list. Um, you guys have been doing a lot of donations through the Cash App and the PayPal. Typically, you guys use Cash App, not the PayPal, but all of that information is there on my About tab. If you guys would like to book or show any type of form of support, which is greatly appreciated, I appreciate each and every last one of you um, who has been supporting me throughout my time on YouTube. As you know, we always give God praises. We always acknowledge him and just give him thanks and honor for just waking us up and just giving us, you know, free air and daily bread, you know. So, Father God, we come here today to just, you know, acknowledge you and just give you thanks for just waking us up, keeping our family safe and healthy, providing us with all of the resources that we need, Father God. We're just so happy to just have you as our best friend. And just as a loyal provider for us, because it's like you never let us down, Father God. Like, we always, always are covered at all times. And even when we're going through the good and even when we're going through the bad, it's like there's always a lesson in everything that you do and everything that you put us through. It's a learning stage for us, you know. So we are... Um, challenging ourselves at this time to just you know keep our minds positive at all no matter what anybody tries to say or do you cannot listen you can't touch us you can't touch this dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, can't touch this listen they can't touch this <laughs> because god got us armored down like you cannot touch this you cannot touch this so it's like just knowing going forward that you cover and like you know i'm not saying be cocky with it but like literally holding up your head and just knowing that they can't touch god's anointed you know don't be in fear like it's no reason no reason for us to walk in any type of fear at ever at ever and i know there ain't no damn word but I'm going to use the day at ever. Okay, bitch? <laughs> so, <laughs> let me get into it. Listen, so we're about to get into this energy for my Virgos for August. I thank you ahead for all of the blessings that you have placed before uh, Virgo's feet. For the rest of this year and for the rest of our life, Father God, please give us guidance for the sign of Virgo. For August 2020, show me the money. Amen. Let's get into this. So, we going to use the archetypes deck and um, as I explained in the other video, um, this is the eighth month of the year. The number eight is a very special number. Uh, it's, the, it's the affinity sign. You know what I'm saying? Just turn upwards. It means authority, manifestation, as above, so below. It means getting things in like... You know, order, like really managing things, you know what I'm saying? Just trying to take responsibility for every single thing that you're outputting into the world. Because, you know, everything that you put out will come back. So, we just like really, really just trying to take charge and just be responsible here. Okay, so what is this? Arrows. Ooh, arrows. 
Mm. Well, I feel like this has to do with some type of... It's like calling something into you. Like, you see how he got that... He... Ooh, ooh. You see how she got that diamond on her lips? I feel like your words... Because, you know, like they say, um, diamonds are forever. Diamonds are forever. Ooh, they say it's like someone's being kissed by a goddess. I, why do I feel like there's a lot of sexual energy here? I feel like there's a lot of sexual energy here. I feel like your words are enticing and hypnotizing and they shine. It's something about your word play um i feel like your words have a very high sense of value to it and i'm getting diamond energy i'm really getting like was it prisms or something was it diamond prisms or something like when the sun when the light hits the diamond it's like the way it's cut it's like the prism shooting everywhere or something like that um let me let me look this up. I'm getting I'm really getting like some type of like erotic energy here. I don't know why. Yeah, it says love as desire, eroticism, se sensuality. It says it means passion, playfulness, sexual health. It says, what are you longing for? Why are we awakened by love? What makes us hesitate in the face of intimacy? Eros reconnects us with the primal longing to merge with another human being. Nature, music, art, planets, food, or just anything that we perceive we are separated from. Eros allows us to momentarily unite. Our heart embraces otherness. And in doing so, we further understanding in our own. Our life force awakens. This card reveals an inevitable initiation into lovers. I don't know what the hell that shit talking about. Okay, they didn't they went off somewhere talking about um, the type of language they talking about. Um, mm, let's get into this. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sit you to the side real quick. I want to go to the left since we already jumped because this is I feel like your wordplay is being exaggerated in some type of way to call in like okay it's like you're talking love around yourself do you understand it's like you're looking at yourself in the mirror you everything that you say is like a diamond prism into that mirror when you're looking at yourself, talking to yourself about yourself, you know, and you're like, man, today I'm going to put on something sexy red and I'm going to be here and then I'm going to get all of these looks and this, this and that and blah, blah, blah. It's something about you and your words, like you're speaking love around you and you believe it. You know what I'm saying? And you are receiving. Do you understand? It's like you are. manifesting like i said the number eight manifesting is like you're you're looking at yourself in the goddamn mirror and you're talking this love and this life and this new existence around yourself you are using your lips to create magic and you're realizing how powerful your words are and how you can see things into existence okay it's like your lips are magical Give me guidance for my Virgos. Go, go, whoa, whoa. Not enough came out in the reverse. I like that. Because that's you realizing that no matter what no one says, because you got the girl with the snake right here. Hold up, bitch. It says empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used enabled boundaries. Oh, this is concerning me now. Let me turn this around. So the not enough says frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, 
issues and jealousy. There's somebody around you guys that I want to say be trying to like, it's like hating. Big time hating. And it's putting you down. And for whatever reason, whatever this person is saying, you be looking your ass in the mirror when you be in that damn bathroom coming out your shower. And you look at yourself in your mirror and you reaffirm every fucking thing that this hating ass bitch said or this hating ass nigga said as falsehoods, fallacies, foolishness, propaganda, and fucking lies. Bitch, you can eat dick. I don't believe that shit. And you don't believe it. Tell this hoe, I don't believe, listen, I don't believe that I'm not enough. And you don't believe that shit neither, bitch. Now do you? Now do you, bitch. Now do you, bitch. Bitch, you're jealous. You're mad. You've been mad. You've been salty. Bitch, you've been soggy. Bitch, you've been soggy. You're a soggy, dry, pussy ass, old, outdated ass hoe. Okay? And every time that you sit there and try to talk doubt around me, and try to make me feel like I'm good enough, baby. I go up in that mirror. I said, you right, bitch. You better. You better stop. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. Listen, you can't tell. You cannot tell Virgo that they are not enough. No more. They know that this motherfucker, bitch, you're jealous. You're big mad. Okay? Hmm. Mmm. An empath and narcissist paradigm. Oh my goodness, child. Cheese, honey. Woo! Give me more information, honey. Listen, y'all say, uh uh, baby, I'll run circles around your motherfucking ass now. I will run circles around your goddamn ass now, bitch. You can't tell me I'm not enough no more, bitch. I am. Yeah, and then some. Bitch, I'm eating on dim sum. Y'all bitches better go on somewhere, okay? That and then some, bitch. We eating dim sum, bitch. Get out of here. Bitch can't even afford this place. You better go on somewhere and go tell that shit to somebody else. Tell someone that believed this shit that you... Listen, the Ten of Wands, baby. The Ten of Wands. Listen, let me tell you, tell you something. Oh, let me tell you something. When you come from a palace of love, when you come from a place of love, Sometimes you can forget how special you are when you surround yourself around dandelions that want to be roses. And they try to tell the roses, oh, um, you ain't never heard that song by Outkast, Roses Really Smell Like Boo Boo. You ain't all of that. You ain't all of that. Right? I'm the most highly prized, most highly possessed, highly acclaimed, desired and wanted flower. Bar none. Bar none. You can't outsell me. You can't tell me. I'm not the best. Maybe a long time ago, I let a dandelion, dandelion, dandy be lying, okay? I let a dandelion ass hoe, which ain't nothing but a weed, bitch. Ho, tea, bitch. You is nothing but a motherfucker weed, bitch. The Ten of Wands represents, honestly, someone that has come a long way and had to do something on their own, and they're tired, but they're almost motherfucking there. You know? You had to deal with people doubting you. Oh, you can't do this. You can't do this. You ain't. You da -da 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 -da. talking all that shit. Talking all of that shit, but they couldn't even run half a mile in your shoes. You carry all of that weight, you dealt with all of that pressure, and you did it by yourself. Because you guys know the story of the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands was a story of someone that went to Home Depot with their girlfriend or with their boyfriend. They were supposed to go there, rent them an Uber, come back with a whole bunch of um, materials, and they was going to build them a house together. You went to the Home Depot, you called you an Uber, you standing out there, you done ordered everything, everything's sitting in the front, only thing you waiting is for your partner to show up. But guess what, your partner didn't show up. Your partner didn't show up. And you had to carry all of that shit by your lonesome. 
It was a long ride uncomfortable ride because you got all this shit stuck in the uber with you so like you got piles of bags and sheet rock and all this shit all over top of you you know what i'm saying but at the same time you endured it and even though someone let you down this is someone that let y'all down do you understand what i'm saying this is someone let you down and they thought that you were just a moth and that you would never they try to tell you that you were a moth instead of a butterfly bitch i am the butterfly don't ever get me fucked up. And I will build my castle with love, with or without you, bitch. And you know what they say uh, back in the day? Pa castles are about the protection. It's a fort. It's to make sure that the enemies can't enter. It's to make sure that the enemies can't enter. See, sometimes, you know, people be thinking, uh... God, this person was supposed to do this. These people let me down. I can't believe this motherfucker did exactly what God wanted her to do. Piss you off, talk shit to you, put you down to make you look at yourself in that mirror and say, I don't know what the fuck this bitch talking about. I'm that shit. Okay? Ooh, that's that shit. That's that shit. Okay? Few times I've been around that track. Some, something, something that ain't been like that. And I ain't no holler back, girl. I ain't no holler back, girl. Bitch, you ain't no holler back, girl. You is not no holler back. You got one time to leave me. And once I realize that I got to do it by myself, I will do it by myself. And baby, you are not invited to the party. Not at all. Because guess what? You told me I wasn't enough. So what the fuck you want to be in my castle for? Bitch, get the fuck on somewhere. Get the fuck on somewhere. Now, this motherfucker did that shit by their self. They did it by their self. And they did it with love. You understand? It's a difference when, when you got somebody helping you. Sometimes they don't put the same amount of passion into it that you're doing. So if this bitch would have came and helped you, which this bitch was hating anyway, you'd have had one side of your house that was built right and the other side of your house that was built like shit. One don't match the other. One didn't match the other. It's, 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 it's Whoever this was wasn't matching. Y'all didn't mesh the sun in the reverse. The sun in the reverse means like Number one, someone isn't happy anymore. It's like the fat lady has sung. It's over. Dead. Done. <sighs> ready to go night night, nigga? Like, for real. You Like, you ready to go night night? You ready to go night night? The sun in the reverse with the ten of wands means that I done proved my test of time. Um, I wasn't happy about how things turned out, but at the same time, through my unhappiness in this situation, I was able to manifest growth and realize that you can't play around with everybody. Everybody's not your friend. The son of a verse is like... When the sun didn't come out in the shadow persist do you understand what i'm saying it's like you couldn't go out and play and i really feel like it's because god didn't want you dealing with these who again it i'm stressing it's somebody by themselves the ten bonds to me means singular it means you have to go through the struggle all by your own. And now you're going from the ten of wands. You finally made it throughout all of the drama that you done went through. Even though it wasn't a happy event. It taught you everything. You can't play with everybody. Everybody, This ain't playtime. Everything ain't, ain't, ain't for play play. And you can't let everybody in your life. And you can't believe what everybody say. People will not only talk down and talk shit to you, but they will let you down while they're talking down and talking shit to you. This is someone who is jealous of you, like, for real. It's something, like, this person has issues, and they're not enough. They feel like shit. And they want you to feel like shit with them. And they want you to do everything by yourself while they sit back and reap the benefits from it. Not happening. 
not happening. The sun didn't shine because it was not meant for you to have a play day with this person. It was not meant for you to build this house with this person. One side would have been done right with love and passion and integrity. And the other side would have been built to shit like shit because this person ain't shit. And this person really wants you to fail. This person don't see it for you. Have you ever dated someone that was jealous of you? No, seriously. Like, have you ever dated someone that low-key was jealous of you? That's what I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting here. These motherfuckers saw that these roses wasn't going to grow. And that you wasn't going to find happiness. Yeah, I did. I found happiness once I realized to stop fucking playing around with you. And playtime is over. And I'll do this motherfucking shit by my damn self. Give me guidance on this girl with the snake. What's her tea? I feel like you were speaking life back into yourself. You were speaking life back into yourself. No matter what this girl say, oh baby, you could trump her any day. There's been a resurgence of life. The Empress. The Empress is someone that and then you got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. So you got the Empress. So I don't know if this person is expecting. I feel like this person is either expecting, they're saying a wedding or expecting a child or something like that. It's just expecting some type of new birth in a situation, but it's not happening. Like there's no foundation right there with the Ace of Pentacles in a reverse. It's like bad planning or something like that. It's like she needs to... Either get her money straight, her foundation straight. She didn't plan things accordingly. She didn't expect things to go the way that it did or something like that. This could be someone with this girl with the snake. This could be someone that's using her beauty and her body and things like that to kind of manipulate people and, and, and to... I hate to speak on the empress like this, but it's coming with the girl with the snake. So, like, this is someone that is using her beauty and her charm to manipulate people and kind of get what she wants. Like, this is a very materialistic person. This person likes a lot of expensive fabrics and purses and designer this, designer that. Like, this person may have a very high class upscale uh, desire for life. But with um Department of Social Services um purse, <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? It's like you have a high quality lifestyle and add, you know with yourself to what you want to live. But baby, your pockets does not reflect that. The quality of life that you live right now, even though that you're thinking you hold yourself up to this point, it does it does not reflect that. There's no stability in this person's life. Um, like, work could be stagnant. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be capped. You know, um, like, you could, might need to go back to school and re-educate yourself to get some more education so that you can move up. You know? It's like something didn't work out as planned. Someone needs to go back to the drawing board because it says empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enable boundaries. The girl with the snake is someone who is codependent, trying to wrap themselves up around somebody else. It could be because they might have financial problems. They can't get it through their own skull. Like you need to get your own money. You need to. I don't know why I'm feeling. Now I'm feeling like it's like some woman was taking advantage of some man. She's using her looks. Um, I understand promiscuity. I don't really want to say that because the Empress in reverse would give me a promiscuous person. The 
empress in reverse would give me a promiscuous person. I feel like this is someone that's using their attractiveness and their clothes and their aesthetics to glamour somebody. But really, beneath all those clothes and the aesthetics, it's a fucked up person who really don't have any sense of value and really don't have anything going for themselves alone. You know? Because this person doesn't have a sense of value and this person is fucked up in this way you know what i'm saying they make this other person unhappy they make this other person have to do everything by themselves and carry the blunt of the burden of the financial part of the relationship even like the courting and emotional part of this relationship i feel like this person is having to do everything by themselves while this person sits back like a pampered princess Hmm. Let's get to life purpose. I feel like this Empress right here, and it's the Gemini. Um, I believe, yeah, that's Gemini, right? I believe that this Empress right here may be the one that's the girl with the snake that's manipulating something. Uh, it's like the, the words, their words. The words. And remember they're saying this card means it's someone that is motivated by love. So this person over here could love this person. And remember it was questioning, why are you motivated by this? Why do you love this? And you know what I'm saying? Again, let me read that one more time. It says it wants you to understand what is the root of your desire itself. What do we long for? Why are we awakened by love? What makes us hesitant in the face of intimacy? Eros reconnects us with the primal longing to merge with another human being. Nature, music, art, planet, food, or anything that we perceive we are separate from. And it allows us to momentarily unite. I don't like this. I don't like this. But at the same time, I really do feel like whatever this person is saying to kind of make this person feel like they're not enough. Because this person, this person had to wake up. I feel like it took a long person, a long time for this person to see the energy that this person is shooting over here. And it's like they, they know that they are enough. And they see that they're having to do everything by themselves. And I feel like that's why they're looking themselves in the mirror. And they're speaking blessings and they're speaking love into themselves. It's like whatever this bitch tell me, I go on, I go on the bathroom. I look at myself in the mirror. I tell myself I'm ten times better than whatever the fuck she was talking about. Sensitivity. Um, This came out in the reverse on this side. So I feel like this whoever this woman is lacks sensitivity. Really. I feel like this person lacks sensitivity and really does. Yeah, and then teaching is at the bottom. So I really do feel like this Virgo, um, I really do feel like this is a male Virgo going through this with some type of fucking horrible ass woman. Um, I feel like God is teaching you something. And, and, and number one, teaching you how this person manipulates you because of you, because of your love for them. But then at the same time, God is teaching you that you very much so are enough. In the same way that this person uses their mouth to try to demean you and try to make you feel like you're not worthy. You use your same mouth and you reaffirm those principles that you are every single thing that God is destined you to be. You are enough. Don't ever let nobody tell you that you're not enough. It says you are becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So in regards to this woman, this empress here, um, the empress to me is just like, 
the woman that's in charge, the woman that's the ruler, the woman that's the mother, the woman, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's her house, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you are highly sensitive to this woman and the things that comes out of this woman's mouth. Um, there could be someone that is very much so controlled by this woman's demands and this woman's sex and everything like that. And whoever this man is that's dealing with this, um... I want you to honor your sensitivity. Like, you need to start telling whoever this person is. You need to start telling. I appreciate you telling yourself this shit and not believing that you're not enough. And if you got to do this shit on your own, you're going to do it on your own. And it's time for you to wake up a certain shit to be revealed that you really ain't trying to look at. But for real, for real, like, this person is, like, tearing you down. And they're trying to override all of the fucked up shit that they're doing to you emotionally and physically by sex. And that's not acceptable. You know what I'm saying? It's just not acceptable. And the true empress wouldn't react or respond or operate in this way. That's why this person don't have no foundations and things are not beginning and there's no longevity in this relationship. Like with this... Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like it's going to start and end very fast. You know what I'm saying? Or it's just going to be at a stag. It's just going to be at a stagnation. It's like money and things are not coming out the way that they used to. Because this person is realizing like this control. Like what this woman is doing. Like she's beautiful and I love her. But at the same time, this bitch keep trying to put me down. This bitch making me do everything by myself. I'm not fucking happy. Like... Everything that this person says, I feel triggered. And I'm having to reassert myself on a daily basis. It's like... <sighs> the three of swords in the reverse. Oh, heartbreak. The eight of cups leaving. The ten of swords over that shit. The ten of wands. Listen, come on, Virgo. Y'all better stop fucking playing with me. Ten of God. I told you. I told when I picked up this car and I seen this and I was going off the way I was in the beginning. I was doing that for a fucking reason because Virgo is not dealing with that shit. I told you. You were supposed to meet me at the Home Depot. Bitch, you was not there. I came all the way home. I did all of this shit by my motherfucking self. You you really think? Ten of swords, ten of wands, and you really, really motherfucking thing. After bitch, this is overkill. Like you done did too many damn things to me where you done stabbed me in my back and made me feel like I wasn't worthy of, you know what I'm saying, happiness in your presence. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I'm in your presence, I'm being hurt. I'm being misused. I'm being abused. I'm being put down in some type of way. And I'm the fuck over it. The ten of swords in the reverse. It means all of that harshness is over. You ain't got to worry about it no more. You ain't got to think about it no more. It, it's, it's not a part of you no more. Baby, I don't put down the burden. I don't put it down. Anything that has to do with you, yeah, I put it down. These are two tens back to back, baby. And then you got the eight of cups too. My motherfucker, what, bitch, leaving every goddamn thing where they left it, where they found it, leaving you where I found you, and I'm moving the fuck on. I don't want nothing, nothing Nothing Nathaniel, Nansford, nada, Nathan, bitch. Okay? Like them nasty ass Nathan hot dogs. Y'all be eating that Nathan hot dog shit? Bitch, them motherfuckers is too skinny. What the fuck? If I want me a hot dog, bitch, I want me some meat. Don't give me no little thin ass, little pencil dick ass Nathan hot dog. Bitch, I'm gone. Ain't see all that green on her? Bitch, that is love. Rooted in self-love. And as you can see, you see that that, that, that uh, wand right there? That's the ace of wands in her hand or his hand. That's a new beginning. A passionate, strong, emotionally fulfilling new beginning. I'm leaving you and all your cups back here, bitch. The three of swords. The three of swords is heartbreak. This is someone trying to get over heartbreak. This is something that hurts so bad. Like it hurt going in and it hurt coming out. Her going in and her coming out. It's like you want me to be something that I'm not. You want me to. You want me to continue to take this abuse and this pain. And I'm not. You know. If you want me to be something else. That is more suitable to you. Baby I can't do that. And I'm not going to try to do that. I try to do it too many times. 
And I'm not doing nothing but hurt myself. Whatever it is that you want, go find it. Go find it. Baby, go find it. And you're not going to have any choice because I'm done. I'm done. You cannot hurt me no more. You're not going to put me no down no more. You're not going to make me unhappy no more. Bitch, whatever it is that I need to build, I will build it by my Self, I'm going to keep on going, but you, bitch, I'm going to lay you right here where you stand. And you can stay there. Because, oh, honey, when I walk away, there won't be no turning back. Oh, bitch, you did too much. You did too much. Okay? Now I'm hearing in my head, too hot, too hot. Too hot lady, gotta run for shelter, gotta run for shade, cause she's too hot, too hot, too hot lady. Y'all remember that song by um, Coolio? Do y'all remember that song? I don't know, cause this is a three of swords right here. It could have been someone thotting and bopping the fuck around. Like, a three of swords to me is someone that's untruthful, not faithful, no loyalty, and just putting you in a whole completely fucked up disposition. Um, to not like, like that's what this person wanted you to do is to not love yourself to feel see the thing is that what people do if they put you down they put you down and they compare you to other people and tell you about they want you to compete do you understand what I'm saying they want you to compete what you don't compare to I don't compare to that I don't, and it's like, I don't even want to be, like, I don't, like, it's no point of you sitting here continuing to make my life unhappy and you playing music and shit that I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear this shit. I don't, I don't, I am being easily triggered by you, um, and I just, I just don't want it anymore. You're beautiful. I give you that. But aside from that beauty, you ain't got shit with you. And I'm serious, it took someone a long time to see this. It took someone a long time to see this because I really do feel like someone was wrapped up in this person's gift of gab and this person's sexual exploitations of this man, this, this person's emotions. There could have been cheating. It very much so could have been a third party situation. But the third party situation could have literally been the verbal fucking abuse. Like verbal abuse can be the, the third party. It's like, I love you, but I don't like this side of you. Well, you're always putting me down. You're always fucking hurting me. Because sometimes people, they think physical abuse is bad and it is bad. But mental and emotional abuse is just as bad. How do you want to make someone feel like they're nothing? Like they're nothing? Like they're nothing? Mm-mm. Y'all, I love it. Look, 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 this right here. Oh, I love this shit. And I love this. And I love it. And I love, bitch. Okay, listen. What hurt me before won't hurt me no more. I'm walking away. I'm slowly removing these wards. And I'm forgetting every single thing that this person said or done or ever tried to do to hurt me. I'm walking away and I'm focused on myself, my new development, my new growth. Um, it's no need for me to cry anymore. Like The hard days are over and I'm putting the burden down and I'm focused on myself. And that's it. And that's all. Beep, beep, that's all, folks. So it's like at the end of the day, I hope them looks and all of that shit pay you well. Because this one is paying you dust. Peace.